parents are exposing their children to life skills to help them survive and provide for their families in a unique way. This particular skill probably isn't the first one to come to mind when you think about child rearing. KHQA's Abigail James takes us to the Winoy Field Archery Club where parents are taking aim at helping the next generation. Stance, aim, and positioning. It is important to pull back and lock your string. When you're sitting in the stand and you see the deer walk out or turkey, it's, your adrenaline really rushes. And when you pull that trigger, your heart is beating so fast. The allure of the outdoors resonated on Sunday as a volley of arrows flew towards their targets. 12-year-old Ashling Gale has been shooting 3D archery and hunting with her family for three years now. She says it is a family hobby that is not only fun, but also has taught her a lot of patience and discipline. Teaching us to do this, and when we learn stuff, that if we keep it up and we keep doing it, that we will, that we can probably pass it on to our children, and they can pass it on to their children, and then they would know how to do that if to survive. Gail's uncle Brian has participated in the sport for more than 20 years. We grew up shooting bows, hunting shooting guns and this is something we all like to pass on to our children. The adults carefully explain safety and the importance of patience. He says it helps the children acquire knowledge, ethics and sportsmanship. It teaches them life skills, how to be focused and how to concentrate on what they're doing at that time. He says these are skills that can't be learned at school. Difficult to teach kids because they're, they're kids. They have a short attention span and they have lack of focus so this helps them to learn that. Gail says the experience is priceless. If something happens, it's important skills to have. Abigail James, KHQA News, Quincy. Winoy Field Archery Club has close to 400 members. The club will hold an end-of-the-month shooting open to the public the last Sunday of the month through September.